Right, next on the agenda is to have a look at WP Touch. Now this comes in two versions, in the free version and in the paid version, WP Touch Pro. I've tried both, I've set up the free version on my CaptionPix website, which you can see here, and I've put the paid version on Devon Web Designers, which is here. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at the free version because I had problems getting the videos to resize, so I don't know if that was just me and I ran out of time to investigate it further. But I'll show you what the Caption Pick site looks like. I'm able to do that because you can run the Safari browser in iPhone mode. And that's it there. So it's a kind of simulation that's very, very realistic to how the real thing looks because I've been checking all the time with my iPhone as I've been using this tool. It's really useful. All you have to do is go to the developer uh, menu option here and simply set the user agent to iPhone if you want to do that. Or you can set it to iPad if you want to see what that looks like. If you don't have the develop menu option there, you can set it by going into Preferences, Edit Preferences on Windows, and going to Advanced, and then ticking the box here to show develop menu in the menu bar. So if you do that, and then click on there, and then set your user agent up, you can fake an iPhone. OK, so if I just move that out of the way, that's Caption Picks in its normal form, and here it is on the mobile version and this is using free WP Touch. You can go like that for a menu and we can go about caption pics and that shows that really well. How to center an image. By the way, if you're interested in using caption pics, it's one of our plugins. It's a free one and it does images like this. It uh, centers images and left aligns and right aligns and wraps text around them and does nice shadowing and uh, nice borders. So that's what that looks like there. And how to use Caption Picks, I believe it's got a video. But when I go to play it, do you see it's very large? On the free WP Touch, there isn't very good support, as you would expect, because you're not paying. And it's I couldn't find anything that would tell me, in the time that I had available, how to get this to fit. And certainly when I look on the real iPhone as well, it's exactly the same. That doesn't mean there isn't a solution to this, it's just I couldn't find one in the time. So you can see that my little thumbnail of my video is okay, it's just that when I click it, it it's not very good. Okay, this is what WP Touch looks like inside. This is um, the free version, it's got all these settings here. And you can change colours and styles, add some custom code for things like Google Analytics, you can use different icons here to represent various menu options here. But I didn't bother doing much of that. Okay, moving on then. This is the home page of my Devon Web Designers website and the mobile version of the site in WP Touch Pro. I was able to just redesign the home page quite easily by getting a drawing of an iPhone and a newspaper and putting the two main things that I thought people might want to do. They'd either want to call me or read the blog. So let's have a look at reading the blog. Oh, and that is a tap to call. So if this was a real mobile phone, you tap that and it would go to make a phone call. This is reading the blog and it displays all the blog posts. Now, this is where I've been putting out the tips and you can see them here and you know that increased site traffic using comments has got quite a few videos on it so let's have a look at that. I was able to put a logo at the top here and also to make some nice icons which were all included with WP Touch Pro to go to the contacts page, the reviews pages and things like that and to the blog page again. And 
we'll just see how this looks with now notice here's a video here and if I press play it actually plays at the right size so I don't know I didn't have any problems getting that to work so I'm wondering if that's one of the features of the free one. Maybe someone can tell me, i.e. one of the features that it doesn't work. But it's working very well in the paid version. Which is, by the way, very well supported because I did have some problems getting some of this to work. And uh, they supported me really fast. Um, I got answers back within 15 minutes and I asked quite a few questions. And it's even got all the comments with people's comment love links out as well. So it's, it's pretty good. I'm quite impressed with that. So I may work on this over the next few days to improve it for myself. So if you do happen to visit Dev and Web Designers with an iPhone, I don't guarantee that it will be working because I shall be working on it to get it exactly the way I want it to be. And if I just move that aside and go into the edit page on Devon Web Designers. I just made another home page here and I simply put an H1 tag with how can we help which did that and then just an image tag here with an image to a tap to call ping file of that phone and another one to a, a picture of some newspapers for the read of the blog posts. So that's what gave me those two lines and if I go into the back end of it, you can see that the menu options are quite different from the free version. They're a little bit more organised and there's more to it. This is what the settings page looks like for WP Touch Pro. You get all these different pages overlaid one on another, so it's all in a small area. And you can pick the different things that you want to do. So it's pretty easy to do things like create the logo here. You just have to make an image that's the right width, about 270 pixels by about 75 pixels high. And you just go to active theme and style appearance and just specify a URL for that particular logo and that enables it. And you can change all sorts of things here, I didn't bother background colours and things like that. The other thing I did was I associated some menus with pages and I decided I didn't want to have pricing or affiliate disclosure on my mobile site so I just dragged across some icons here and they give you a lot of choices for icons and I dragged them across to each of these positions here just to give this look and feel to the menu with these coloured icons. And that is really about all I did. I'm sure I could go a lot further, but I wanted to show you what was possible. I'm pretty impressed with the way it's been working. I've had a few problems with videos playing, as you saw in the free version. I did have a couple of problems in the pro version too, but I managed to get to the bottom of those by using a very useful facility that they have here. There are so many things that you can set that once you get something working, it's quite a good idea if you actually save it. And they've got this backup import facility here, which basically is, that is a summary and code of all the settings you've made. And once it's working, you can actually just copy those and keep them somewhere safe so that if you screw up, you've got the backup which you can just paste in here and take the whole WP Touch Pro settings back to something that was working. And that's what I did because I caused a conflict with some installed plugins and so I had to go and undo that. I wouldn't say that this is particularly easy to set up but it's definitely not difficult. You do need to just allocate probably two or three hours so it's not exactly a 20 minute job. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions I'll, I'll try and answer them.